Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition is critical but stable. I beg your oh, pardon, but you yeah. are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and oh. esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Oh no, that's... yeah, that's definitely no ordinary attack. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? Yeah, pretty much. In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. What? No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Yeah, don't worry about that. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumour. Yeah, you've put yourself in danger there a bit. Great analogy, but this tumour is not going to sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? Yeah, it's a nice scar. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? It no. could be. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Uh, is there any way I can get into the morgue? Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You lead. Okay, you're okay. So, the medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried yeah, to probably. get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge. You damned idealists, ruining the market for us. <laughs> right, come on then. Right, we're in the sewers, so we're bound to run into necrophages. We'll also get hard going again. And we'll be ready for them. Hear that? Oh, and yes, I for did. A while. Draw your weapon. Geralt! Come on then. Where are they? Oh, that didn't work too well, did it? Oh, didn't see that coming. Oh, they're not going down these. Oh, shit. 
I think not. I'm on death march now. Can't go in like that. <laughs> yeah, can't be going in like that when you're on death march. That's just stupid. Can't I look, man? Yeah. There we go. That's better. Right, let's get our echidna decoction going, shall we? Oh god, the water hack didn't go. Ooh. Oh, balls. Did this time. God, I mean, they hit hard. Let's just do a bit of spamming and get our health back. Go on. One more. That'll do. Let's see if we can get these down. Yeah. There we go. Where to now? Up. Yes, it's not far now. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal. That's good. It's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Yeah, I can imagine. Stripper of the will to live. Oh, no. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Let's loot whatever we can find here. I think that's it, yeah. Come on then, Yorkin. Anything down here? Nope. Take the ladder. Sure, I can do that. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Yeah, I'm got some to Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Custody. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. We do, do we? Okay, let's take a look around then, shall we, and see what we can find. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. Human, wrong body type. Yeah, just a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, plenty to loot. Great. Oh, lots of beer. Get the alcohol. Monstrum or a portrayal of witches, volume one. I don't know if you've read that. Uh, in truth, there is not more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher. They are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. They are veritable scoundrels without conscience and virtue, unscrupulous creatures of hell, able only to take lives. They have no place amongst, amongst decent and honest folk. And this key, this care Morhen, where these vil villains nest and practice their foul rituals, must be wiped from the earth. All traces of it treated with salt and saltpeter to complete the deed. Well, that's nice. This isn't it. Let's keep looking. Don't worry, we won't.
But first things first, as always. So it's going to be in here, and it? it's bound to be. Food. I like food. So we'll loot everything before we go any further. I think that's all of it. That's got to be him. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Yeah. Let's keep looking. They all have beards. So, what about the next one? A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. Yeah, so it's this one that. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? No. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Uh, let's start at the head and work our way down. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped oh, out. Oh, what? Uh, okay, let's examine the eye sockets. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. The murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. Oh. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive. Oh, what? Uh, okay, let's take a look in his mouth. Uh, let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Uh, what about his larynx? See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Mm, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. So the victim wouldn't die too soon. Oh, hell. Okay, let's take a look at something else. Uh, what about his torso? Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Okay, let's examine the chest wound. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, hard carved out. Cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. Fire. I attended some lectures the in fire. as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Uh, okay, let's check the scar. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace? Ah, could be. Right, let's open this abdomen then. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Nice. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Which explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Okay, let's examine something else then. Uh, how about his hands? Look at his hands. 
These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Alright, let's take a look at his legs. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Oh, Doesn't okay. strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. All right, so what about his genitals? His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. <laughs> Syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Alright, I think I know enough. Alright, think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Uh, yeah, this was definitely punishment. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Uh, so I take it you two know each other? You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. Well, why can't it be changed both? a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Hello. Uh, Woodcarver's body, where was it found? Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Well, he seems a right nice guy. No. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Hubert. Eh, uh, who is Nathaniel? Nathaniel? Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Mm. Dream job. 
Uh, yeah, you could have told me you knew the coroner. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Uh, yeah, I think I decide when I've heard enough. I decide when we're done with this subject. What's your connection to him? An old story, but if you insist. The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. Yeah, Where's just a bit. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Right, so let's head and see the corpse collector, I think. I think we'll head there first. Must like oh. the rain, that one. Let's see what he's got to say. Rain again. Damn mages. Uh no. I'm heading the complete wrong way because we need to talk to we need to select the right quest, don't we? Now, is it this one or have we already picked it up? I can't remember. No, we haven't. I thought there was a quest Looks under like one a drop of these. Of some sort. Not left by a spy. Uh, negotiations with the Trade Corporation continue. The merchants have agreed to almost all of the emperor, Emperor's conditions. Outlook positive. Humus, rumours has a bound that Radovid has found a way to get his hands on Novigrad. The key to Novigrad is the eternal fire. Control the high rat, control the city. Our plan is in the works. Next message, the stash at Crippled Cates. Okay. New quest, hidden messages of the North Guardian kind. Oh, what the hell's happened here? No, that's just... Yeah. Jeez, man. Alright, where's Eustace? Oh, he's here. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Oh. So have you collected other bodies with those injuries? One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Oh, what? Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Yeah, Another never mind. Best left unsaid. Uh, so, you, you searched the body? You searched Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mule. Oh, you want to calm down, mate. Uh, what was in his pockets? Tell me. Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Oh, he wants some. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, what was that for? For everything. 
Yeah, you stay down before you get another one. Right, so let's go and examine the place where the woodcarver died. Right, have we got any more guys in here? Uh, no, not yet. That's always good. Keep this alley nice and clear for the locals. So they can use it. Right. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sit me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much, lay down. Come on, come on in. Slowly now, let's take bite you. Eh, uh, yeah, charming creatures. Charming as beasts go. You daft. <laughs> Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a mate who raises fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. Uh, and who are you? So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Do you know much about the murder? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke was nice. coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Yeah. Uh, so, did your brother have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. Yeah, Sanities. Don't that's where the syphilis that came about. from. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Yeah, I think we've talked enough. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Yeah, they're lovely, the dogs. Right, let's uh, do a bit of looting, shall we? As well, while we're at it. Emerald dust, even more. I've right, got a bit over here. Hello, dogbot. Looks like we're not looting this bit then, are we? Yeah, not looting that bit. Try it from this side then, shall we? Mm, maybe not. Right, so what we got here? Concerned citizens' sermon. Okay. Remember good people that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet fire can also scorch, burn and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with the eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Con 
concerned citizen. Yeah, okay. That sounds like a threat. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Alright. That's uh, not good. The gods and shapely ones. Yeah. Stains. That's where Phoebe and Leah when they found him. Murderer mm, dragged something ahead. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Yeah, there seems to be two things going on there. Now let's see if it does it Murderer again. Dragged something yeah, it dragged does, something yeah. across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from Murderer one wall to the other repeatedly. Okay, so let's have a look in the workshop then, shall we? Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. I'll open it for you if you want. Yeah, please, if you could. Yeah, Geralt, let's go in the door if you don't mind. Thank you. Alright, fine. Two lots of alcoholists, nice. What do we have here? Eyes. Humanoid. Oh, what? Completely rotten. Yeah, what makes me think the deed was done here? More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Mm. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Yeah, why would he? Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Nothing here. Right, let's talk to Fabian. Or oh, Gus, even. Hi. Fabian's a dead dwarf. Yeah, I looked at your sculptures. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm hmm. The women, especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. Whittle him down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, and the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold, as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Yeah, I know exactly what happened here. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Uh, okay, we've talked enough. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Right, yeah, I mean, this guy who's doing this is... Like beyond the oh, it's no, it's just these murders are really out of this world. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure how to put this. Boy, Witcher, Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. All right, but I'm gonna look at Priscilla's. Uh, where Priscilla was attacked first. So out of the way if you don't mind. <laughs> 